So you can see we have these corners, right? And um, we need to smooth the interiors. You can do that if your slabs are thick enough. You can do it with the wooden knife alone. You don't want to be pushing in so much that you make a groove. And you definitely want to be looking as, <laughs> looking as you are sealing those joints together. You need to do that to the floor, anywhere where you've joined. Clay that has been joined together, any of those joints, all of those joints, are far more susceptible to opening back up. And so what some people do is they add a coil to the inside to reinforce that seam. And so I've made a coil, and because the clay is nice and wet, I don't have to scratch and attach it on. I need to make sure that it's in the bottom and in the corner. Get it into place. Tear off any excess. Okay. Now, I want to push in and you can see as I'm pushing out from the inside, I can open up that seam, which is why it's very important to have your other hand on the opposite side <laughs> of that seam as you're pushing. So again, you have this really cool kind of texture, right? Because of that repetition, you may choose to leave that. You may choose to get rid of that. That's, that's, a, that's a design choice. Um, but in terms of adding the coil, that will add strength and reduce cracking at these critical points. That's how you want to make sure that you're providing um, compression on the inside and the outside as you're adding this material. And so you can follow that up with your wooden knife, the butt, the butt end of it, to really smooth that in there. What you don't want to have is, is evidence that you've left, the, that you've done that coil technique. So you really want to make sure that you're taking the time to smooth that coil in. And because the clay is so soft, that's not a problem. You just have to work quickly. You have to work with the material at a particular speed when you're working with wet clay slabs. Again, a little bit of water at this point might be helpful so that you can smooth off some of those, some of the marks on the interior. But you do not want to add a lot of water. compromise the structural integrity of the clay. Otherwise, you may use wooden thumbs, wooden knives, in order to reinforce and fully close up those other seams. As I said, it must be done to every seam that you have. Otherwise, you risk those seams opening back up. By opening back up, what I really mean is cracking open and being irreparable. You can also use your paintbrush as a way to, um, in place of your wooden knife, it's a nice tool. Okay, so all of my seams are well adhered on the inside. So we will now move to the outside. 